yo. Stop. Basquiat, let's go. Got that art for y'all, that real spit. Uh, they call me Basquiat. The Harlem take my pockets full of fat knots. Make all the ladies drop. Paint me street corners green. My bank goes to color bills. Seen half man, half amazing. Call you send me out the demigod. Halo crown with the dollar sign. Got a pulpit. A ghetto saint to a grand design. Call me focus. Before the Basquiat's, the streets is hopeless. I'm that Harlem saint painting pictures. Making new kind of skill. Okay, yo, he's nice. What's his name? <laughs> he goes by the name Basquiat, yo. Basquiat puts game down on them bars, yo. I'm telling you. Hey, we record a nice mixtape. Hey, do a nice video. Get some honeys up in there dancing. Hey, we could build a franchise around this, yo. Hey, I want us to do a deal, freak. I mean, what you mean by us, Vic? I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious Skrilla behind this and put me on, man. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. That's me. That's you? Yeah. 100. <laughs> okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Basquiat. Yo, we don't need no major label to make this happen, man. And in the end, we reap all the benefits. Think about it. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park, too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. And she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy would have us shoot hundreds of jumpers <laughs> all over the court with both hands. And <laughs> hey, you caught onto the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. Right. <laughs> now, but you were a beast with the hops. You were like 13. Five six and could reverse dunk <laughs> with two hands. Right. Come on, man. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I used to bug all the older dudes out on the court. Yep. You know? <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times. What's wrong, V? It's nothing, man. It's... It's silly, really. Come on, Vic. Fess up. I'm just... I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know, how... How blessed you are. You know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad. Both parents. Your family... Treated me like family when my dad died in Greenhaven in his ninth year on his 40-year bed. You remember that? Yeah. And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. But like that sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. No, I feel you, Vic. But it's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops are good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? Yeah. You're gonna pity the little boy whose worthless, low-budget parents died from AIDS? Is that what you're gonna do? Yo, don't, don't pity me, all right? Don't play me, neither. As a matter of fact, go play the lottery, because, hey, you never know. Your chances might Yo, be better. Vic, 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 Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. Man, I got nothing. You, you won't even, you won't even, your cheap butt won't even front me. The Skrilla I need to back a Basquiat mixtape, yo. And on top of that, I get banned from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. What? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? What kind of friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yeah, Yo, you sound like you on some 
Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Because this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly. Are you jealous? Like I said, I ain't jealous of you, freak. As a matter of fact, I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, that's right. I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at Yvette and she turned you down, B. Hmm? Oh, whoa, whoa, what's wrong, Boss Kiats? Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Brother, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. All right, I was I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it. No. Oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, just yeah, up yeah, and yeah, out. Yeah. You know me, man. Save that riff for Heathcliff. You bet told me all about it. I kept it on a low low. See if you ever was gonna mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. <laughs> but you know what? It's still all love here. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you want to get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder, trying to chase these thirsty tens. Yeah, use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm a FOF, a friend of freak. And then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six-figure settlements, huh? Me! Not you. Oh, no, not you, Vic. And then, and then when you want to throw these lavish parties without consulting me? Who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me! Not you, but me! I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars, Vic. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't mind you eating, but when you being a glutton and the glutton off my plate and my food, Love is love, but I'm keeping it 10 times 10 with you right now, Vic. 100, as usual, 100. You right. You right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. And I've been a burden and handle it to you. And I'm sorry. I thank you for your generosity of finance. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. And I thank you for your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good, my brother. But you owe me. Owe you. Yeah, you owe me. Yeah, how you figure Big that? Big time. Uh-huh. How? How? Dirt, bike, Don. <laughs> you remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we was never, ever going to talk about that. Oh, you thought wrong, homie. <laughs> ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> and, and Donnie's... Jealous butt, man. He had it out for you and me. But more so you, free. More so you. <laughs> Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your coat. Yo, no, nah, Vic. Oh, he wanted Vic, it so Vic, bad. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. OK, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Oh, man, hey, calm down, down, calm down, calm down. Yo, it's all good. It's all good, fam. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> it's like you said, everything happened so fast. You know, you, you was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I 
know you didn't try and do it. Yeah, I know you didn't try and do it, man. Yeah. Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Yeah. <laughs> so your secret is safe for me, free. Has been and always will be. Safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you want to talk about food, remember. When Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food, who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you. You're a clean freak. You clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me. You got all this because of me. And don't you ever forget that. I just thought of something so funny. You gonna get kicked out of this? You gonna get kicked out of this, yo? I need you to ask you for one more favor. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's really funny. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. <laughs> oh, hey, says the NBA megastar. His voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, yo, peep this. Let me borrow this here ride, man. <laughs> right, come on, come on. It's not like you're going to miss it. It's just going to sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Mine and your Lambo, mm. and we both know they're collecting dust. <laughs> Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even want to know. Yo, this ride is for sure an aphrodisiac for all the hottie hots. <laughs> man, we living a life, man. <sighs> My main man, Frequency Vibrations. We for sure live in the dream. I need this back at the end of the season in the same condition. Repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. Mm -hmm. Pristine, Vic. I know, I know what that word means. Hey, <laughs> I, I won't let you down, man. I'm gonna treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, okay? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat, man. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some grub. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Wow. Freak, I didn't expect you to be here. Coach let practice out early. Hmm. You okay? What's going on? Same old, same old. Hmm. Wow, your shoulders are really tight. Are they stressing you out again? Yeah. Well, you know you always got me, right? <laughs> I'm always gonna be here. 
Baby, I'm your ride or die. And as quiet as it's kept, you and I are the real team freak. <laughs> of course. What are my moms? I never had this feeling with any other woman in my life. And she gave me a different feeling, which was something I fell in love with. I never asked her to be my girlfriend. It just became that. You could tell when we started falling, like, I get a text message, and she's, huh, huh, who's that? And it's just like, oh, so we worried now. Oh, so no more of that? All right, you know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I came to agreement. What's different about Yvette? Well, when you could teach me something or give me knowledge about anything, I'm already attracted to you as a person. I love learning, and she was very intellectual, and she's a very strong woman. And in this life, I need a strong woman. 